the first year after I got drafted, I was in high A, and to be honest, the big leagues seemed like years away. Didn't even seem close. Cole had a great season in San Bernardino in high A. From there, they decided that he had enough experience and was doing well enough to push forward. Skipped double A, went right to triple A. like, wow, Cole, is there any limit? He goes, no, big leagues is the limit. That's where I want to be, that's where I'm going to be. Now I'm one step away from the big leagues. There's guys that are 10-year minor league veterans playing on this team. It's just like a lot more real at when I got to AAA. We were playing Iowa Cubs, and we had a bus trip back to Omaha. And I remember someone was watching the big league game. The Angels were playing in San Diego and Vernon Wells has slid into second base, popped the ligament in his thumb. So Langerhans had already been called up a week earlier. Langerhans going for a fly ball, boom, crashes into the wall, separated his shoulder. So two outfielders had got hurt. As, as an outfielder, I was doing well, I was playing good, thought there might be an opportunity, you know? And our AAA coach, Keith Johnson, gives me a call. He goes, hey man, you sitting down? And I'm just, my heart is pounding. I was like, yeah? He goes, pack your bags, man. You're, you're going to San Francisco. Like, you're going to meet up with the big league team. And I was just like, oh my God. So I get on the phone and I call Jennifer immediately. R no answer. Call my dad. Nobody's answering. I'm just like, this is the biggest news I could ever give anybody. And nobody answers. So finally, my, my, dad, my dad answered. And I got to tell my dad uh, that... I'm getting that, I'm getting called up and going to the big leagues. And I'm like, no, no, yep, I'm getting called up to the bigs. I'm like, Pfft. and I grabbed Teresa and gave her a big hug and kiss, and it was great, man. It was awesome. It's such a small chance to get an opportunity to come up and get on a roster and make a debut, and it's just right place at the right time. Watching him play his first professional game, that was super emotional because, again, he made an idea or a goal a reality. I just couldn't believe it. I mean, I'm sitting here in a major league stadium watching my kid play in a major league game. Are you kidding me? This is this really, you know, pinch yourself. Yeah, it was just unbelievable. I remember walking to the plate, the, the very first at bat. And that'll bring up Cole Calhoun making his major league stroll to the plate for the first time. And thinking like, here it is. Here's your first major league at bat. Like, what are you going to do? Swing and a miss, chasing the off-speed pitch. Down goes Cole. Jared Parker's got one of the best change-ups, for sure. And threw me a good change-up and went down to a knee and made me look dumb. And, you know, just welcome to the big leagues, kid. Calhoun shoots with a left field, there's a base hit. Well, the next one, I got a fastball away and hit a ball right past Donaldson at third base and was running like crazy. And I, I remember sliding into second base and I, I've got a double and it was just like first major league hit. You know, it was, it was wild. Got to keep the ball. I gave it to my family uh, for Christmas a couple years back and there was a time in, in our family that it was like, I went out and played sports and a lot of time got dedicated to that. So to be able to, to put that ball and that bat on their wall, it took all of us to get to where I am. It was sacrifices by everybody. So it was as big of a hit for them as it was for me. So I don't want them to forget that. Cole has had an interesting role, you know, with the Angels. He had to find his niche and he's always been the underdog. He's not the fastest player. He's not the tallest player, but he's one of the toughest players, and he's gonna do whatever it takes to win. When we first went to Angel Stadium and we're sitting in the family section and it's opening day and we're watching Cole, it's just funny because Tara's like, did you really ever think he'd get here? And I said, I really didn't know when he used to tell us when we were growing up that he was really gonna get here. And he got there and it's just breathtaking to see the story and to see it all unfold. It makes me smile just thinking about him, seeing him play, and the way he plays is what lights me up. You know, I just, I'm proud to have had a small part in it, you know, so, yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's one of my favorite things to think about. 
at the wall, leaves up. Did he get it? He He's did! Unbelievable! What a play by Cole Calhoun to rob Brock Holt of a three-run home run! So when Cole's out there and the ball's hit to him and he makes those diving plays, I'm surprised myself and I'm so excited because I'm like, yes! I feel the competitiveness and I feel his drive and I think that a lot of people relate to that and I think that a lot of people really respect that and like that. I get to kind of live vicariously through him. I'll sit here on this couch when he's playing, he does something good, it's just like, yes, did it. This was pulled to right field, a base hit. Napoli is going to be waved in. Here comes a throw from Calhoun, it's a good one, and that is, uh, talk about dead to rights. Not even close. It's awesome for all of us that are, are friends with him. Obviously he has a ton of friends because he is such an amazing guy, that we kind of get to be a part of his success too. Congratulations to the Angels 2014 American League West champions. This is awesome. This is something just growing up being a baseball fan, I've dreamed of, you know. So now I uh, get an opportunity to be a division champ playing the postseason. I can't wait. How many people get to do what they absolutely love to do? Doesn't happen to very many people. And so, you know, it's absolutely wonderful to live your dream. Couldn't happen to a better person.